Okay, uh, so I'm here on behalf of Stratosphere. I'm the CEO, Chris Ullman. Uh, my co-founder, Antonio, is at the back there. And we're revolutionising viral immunotherapy to treat advanced cancer. Uh, as most of us know, solid tumors are incredibly difficult to treat. Uh, immunotherapies only work in minority of cases. And, you know, these figures diminish as cancer progresses. Um, what's interesting is that a lot of patients actually can't tolerate the standard of care. And those that are on standard of care have a poor quality of life because of toxicity. So we need new ideas, um, new approaches that are safe and effective. Okay, we're missing the, the titles on this, but um, so this is where we think that, or we believe that viruses sort of fill that void where immunotherapy isn't working at the moment. And viruses are incredibly interesting because you know, it's, it's a really interesting, uh, a, a really unusual therapeutic agent. You know, they have a multimodal effect. It's a, it's a living drug. And, you know, they are excellent infiltrators of tumours. Um, they bind to uh, receptors that are overexpressed on cancer cells. They can be engineered to exploit um, uh, sort of defective pathways within those cancer cells. And upon infection, uh, they, uh, they sort of promote um, uh, powerful type 1 interferon responses that cause inflammation in the tumour. Uh, on replication, uh, they, they also uh, induce an immune cell death. Uh, this leads to sort of release of um, uh, sort of molecular patterns that can stimulate the immune response, but also neoantigens. So those antigens that are unusual in the tumour and in those cells. So you get like a personalised vaccine effect through those infections. And they can be engineered to carry immunotherapy payloads, uh, offering you know, potentiation of those immune responses. Uh, so where are we uh, with, or wh where is the industry? Um, so oncolytic viruses have been around for a while, been around for 20 years. Uh, I think we've you know, we're beginning to understand the rules of success now and, and, and it's obviously failure. The first generation viruses, these were like inactive or in, in, uh, sort of inactive wild type uh, viruses. Um, and we, we didn't know if they were, they were safe or not. So now we understand that this modality is incredibly safe. Second generation viruses uh, um, is where you know, payloads, immunotherapy payloads were engineered into these viruses. And now we're starting to see the sort of readout in, in late clinical trials uh, from these viruses. So, you know, there's a lot of excitement that this is now beginning to work. We've got products on the market in Ligic for treatment of inoperable melanoma. There's also Delifax in Japan for glioblastoma. Um, but more recently, we've got fast track approvals for ovarian cancer and bladder cancer. But, you know, the, the markets and the investors are beginning to take interest now. On the back of this data, we've had a, a, a really exciting IPO in January uh, where um, CG Oncology was oversubscribed and then doubled its share price overnight. So, you know, we're now beginning to understand that this can work uh, for cancer. Uh, but there is a problem. You know, the first and second generation viruses, they they, they get rapidly eliminated on delivery, so they have to be directly injected into the tumours or near the tumours to work. And this is the problem that we're overcoming. Uh, so, you know, we're engineering a third generation virus that can be delivered systemically, so we can go intravenously into those patients. How we're doing this is we're engineering a stealth coat around the virus. This is actually encoded within the virus uh, so it can be manufactured at scale. It fits with current uh, sort of manufacturing processes. The, the, uh, the technology that we've used to do this doesn't affect viral infectivity um, or viral packaging. So it's, it's a neutral uh, addition to that virus. But it means that we can inject intravenously um, and uh, you know, this expands the addressable market for for the viruses, we can go after deep visceral tumours instead of tumours that are accessible with a needle requiring 
um, you know, medical teams, specialist medical teams for administration. But it also means that we can go after metastases as well. Uh, the virus that we've engineered, vaccine virus, has a huge payload capacity, 25 kilobases. What this means in reality is that we can uh, deliver multiple immunotherapy biological payloads to the tumour to have um, uh, an effect where we can modify that tumour microenvironment. So specifically how we've done this, uh, we've used a uh, sort of combination of a rational approach uh, and a combinatorial approach. We created uh, libraries of our virus. We exposed it to uh, biological selection, uh, um, uh, sort of going through multiple rounds of like a Darwinian evolution approach, and then screened the, the fittest viruses that come out of this selection uh, process. And the virus that we've got, our platform virus, is significantly more stable than the wild type virus, the, the black column on the left, and our closest competitor, which is the, the, the blue column in the middle. So this is our platform virus. We've engineered that. So, you know, we're now at a state where we can start thinking about payloads, those indication-specific payloads to uh, include and deliver uh, to treat cancer patients. So our first indication, um, and we've been supported by uh, Prostate Cancer Research, uh, Proven Connect, is uh, uh, advanced prostate cancer. This is a really indica uh, interesting indication for us because these patients can uh, undergo years of treatment with antigen receptor pathway drugs and hormone therapy. But as soon as uh, they start becoming resistant to these treatments, you know, there's very few options for them. And those patients, many of them can't tolerate say, uh, those attacks, which is the usual drug in those instances. But however, they do have functioning immune systems so, you know, they're suitable for immunotherapy and it's a huge market, a huge unmet need and quite, and currently immunotherapy doesn't work in these patients because those tumours are, 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 are very cold and as I said, what we're using is a virus to really heat up those tumours immunologically so they do respond to immunotherapies. The second indication is hepatocellular carcinoma, uh, vaccine virus um, was showed uh, a, a sort of response at phase two, but then failed at phase three in clinical trials. Uh, we have a clinician on board who participated in those trials, so we know how to sort of modify the, the, the virus and, and you know our drugs so it can work, but also it's a gateway to liver metastases. So, um, you know, uh, uh, gastrointestinal uh, tumours will spread to the liver and it's a site, a site for secondary uh, tumours. Uh, this, you know, all this will help us, you know, build data sets as well as uh, sort of producing our own products, but build data sets to uh, partner with pharma companies. Um, they will have proprietary payloads that may need delivering to tumours. We'll have the vector for them. Uh, so what we're seeking right now is uh, a million in, in, in fundraising. The first 400k um, is match funded by Innovate UK, uh, help us develop prostate cancer um, a product, the, the one that I talked about. You know, uh, um, there's, we'll be able to do uh, work on uh, hot and cold tumour models and models for advanced prostate cancer, uh, really developing this product uh, so it's, it's ready for uh, preclinical safety toxicity and you know, building that data sets that we can raise money for Series A and obviously partner and show that we are best in class in this activity. So, you know, we, we, we are actively fundraising right now and ticket size of um, you know, 25k upwards. Uh, we're not the freshest faces on the box, but, but we, we are experienced. We, we, we know what we're doing. Uh, myself, I've got over 20 years experience in biological discovery. Antonio, likewise, with virology and engineering viruses. Uh, Priya and Brian, uh, uh, president, COO, CEO of Cyoxus Canvas. Brian, CSO of Acamis and Cyoxus. So, you know, seasons, veterans, they've done it, they've worn the t-shirt. Antonio as well, um, you know, with these, these people. 
uh, but also with our advisors, we've got uh, expert advisors in vaccine and virus from basically the bench to the clinic. Uh, just our corporate journey and our achievements. We've got two Innovate grants. We've had a partnership, a successful partnership with the new U Biotech. Uh, we've achieved platform proof of principle in, in vitro. Um, and you know, the patent is owned by Stratosphere. We started with concept and we generated that uh, data in house. Uh, we've filed the IP, it's got favorable search reports. Uh, so then there shouldn't be any problems there. Uh, and yeah, we're just really excited to get on with it. Really excited to have Sunil on this mission with us. And we hope that, you know, other people will join us in this mission.